So welcome to Techno Dad Life and uh, today's video we're going to be doing actually sort of three different things. So one we're going to be installing Plex on a Raspberry Pi and then we're going to be going over some of the issues with that and how you can make your videos so they do run. And then the other thing that we're going to be doing is we're just going to be talking about how we can watch my other videos and use them for the Raspberry Pi. And so, as always, if you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and consider being helping us on our Patreon page. And here we go now. So today we're going to go over some things for ARM computers again and like last time we'll go over the difference between x86 and ARM. So basically for Docker you either have to, you have to pick basically there's one of two types. You have to pick a Docker for x86 or ARM. And so since this is a Raspberry Pi tutorial, we're going to use ARM cuz the Raspberry Pi is ARM. And so when we look for Raspberry Pi dockers, we want to look ones that either say ARM, Raspberry Pi, or ARM HF. And so ARM HF is simply so ARM processors that are 32-bit. And so the Raspberry Pi is a 32-bit processor. Okay, so we definitely want to look for those. So you, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, we always use the ones, or not always, but most of the times we use the ones by Linux server. And we use those ones because they're consistent. Basically, uh, he or she puts their dockers together the same way every time. So it's very easy to know how to do the next docker if you find, uh, if you use their ones. So on the other hand, for ARM, there doesn't seem to be as one person who has done sort of all the different Dockers that most people want for it until yesterday I found. So basically there's Dockers by this person L-S-I-O-R-M-H-F. And so what he uses for his base Docker is the Linux server ones, but these ones are built for ARM, but basically they're set up the same way as the Linux server ones. And so now what does that mean for us? Well, it means now that any tutorial that I've done about Linux server dockers, we can now use for ARM processors. All we have to do is use the LSIO ARM HF uh, version of the Docker and the setup will be exactly the same as the Linux server one. You can now install transmission, radar, sonar, jacket, MB, and headphones. But what you have to use is the LSIO ARM HF versions. So if you want to install any of these things on your Raspberry Pi, simply look at my other videos talking about these things. Just substitute in the LSIO ARM HF version when you actually go to install the Docker. Okay, so now today what we're going to install is Plex. And so Plex is very interesting because you, if you look on the internet, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't on the Raspberry Pi. And what we'll do today is first we'll install it and then we'll show you why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So to start out, make sure your Raspberry Pi is on and you've opened up Open Media Vault. Uh, after we've done that, we're going to download one thing. We're going to download Handbrake. So download that now and install it. Once you've done that, go back to your Raspberry Pi and go to Docker and type in L-S-I-O-A-R-M-H-F and you can see um, you can see that a bunch of different ones come up. Third one on my screen and you can see that's the Plex one. And so I just want to point out to you too, uh, just like what we were just talking about, you can see 
It's based on the Linux server image of Plex. So basically the install, once we get the right image, which is this LSIO ARM F HF Plex one, all the install is going to be the same as if we do the Linux version one. So basically what that means is that after today, you can look at my other uh, installation videos for Dockers and all those ones that I mentioned earlier, which are all done by Linux server, the, we use the Linux server Docker. Uh, you can use the LSIO ARM HF version of it, which is also, it's the ARM version of the Linux server Docker. And then you can follow the directions exactly once you've done that. So now we're going to click on that and we're going to start the installation. Once that's done, click close. And so there is our Plex. And so we're going to click info first. And as you can see, he actually just copied the Linux server page here. Didn't even make his own page. So we're going to click down to usage or scroll down to usage. The information that we want to pay attention to are those ones. So next, what we're going to do is go down to our shell in the box, click on web clients. So next type in root and then your password. Okay. And so now what we want to do is type ID and then your username. My username is user one hit enter. And so now the information that we need are the UID for me, it's 1000 and the GID, which is 100 type exit. And then you can close that window. Okay, so next we want to go over to Windows and go to our network shares. Click on our Raspberry Pi and double click data. And we're going to add a folder here called Plex. And we're going to add another folder here called Transcode. And so what we're simply doing here is the, we're actually not going to be transcoding on our Raspberry Pi, but we need that reference. So we put a folder there for our Docker to reference. Next, we're going to go over to media. We're going to add in a couple folders here. First one is movies then TV and audiobooks and books and music. And so then we can close that, go back to Plex run image and the container name is Plex. Restart policy is always network mode is host. And so here we're going to type in our UID, but we're going to put PUID. And for me, that was 1000 hit plus. Next is our GID, but we're going to put PGID. For me, that was 100 hit plus. Next, we're going to go down to container path and we're going to hit slash and config. We're going to type, go to our shared folders, app data, Plex. Okay. Hit the plus sign. Next, another slash, hit transcode, and back to our shared folders, app data, and transcode, hit OK, hit plus. So now we're going to add in those different folders that we just made. So first is movies, and so we're going to go to our shared folders again, and media, and there is movies, hit OK, hit plus. Next is TV, uh, go to our shared folders, media. TV, hit OK, then hit plus. And next we're going to put photos, but I just remembered we forgot photos. So we're going to go back over to our network and our media folder, and we're going to create a new folder called photos. And so now we can click on the folder, go to shared folders and media and photos, click OK, click plus, and then music. Go to our shared folders, media, then music, and OK. Hit plus. And then you would do whatever folders you created after that. Just make sure you hit plus after each one. Now we're going to click save. And so we're going to copy our IP address here. And we're going to paste it here. And then we're going to go back to our Docker config page. And so here you can see to get into the Plex server, you need your IP address, which we already put in, and then colon 32400 slash web. 32400 slash web. Obviously, I've done this once already. So now we have to log into Plex and just click oh, got it. And here you can just click the X, click next. So we're going to click add to library. So movies. And so there's our movies name. 
Click Next, Browse to Media Folder, just click on Movies, Add, and then Add to Library again. TV Shows, click Next, Browse, and click on TV and Add, Add to Library, Music, Browse for Media, go to our Music, Add that. Next. Keep going. Next. Add. Add library again. And photos. Next. Browse for media and photos. Click add. And then add library. And so there we have our four basic libraries that we added. Next, click next. So you may have had to sign into your Raspberry Pi. Mine just signed me in automatically. So next we're going to just look at our movies. And so there's no movies here yet. So what we're going to do is add in a movie or two and some music if we can find it. And then we'll look at those folders. Okay, so I've added in some movies and some music. And so first let's go down to music. And you can see nothing is there, but if we click on the three round dots and then click Scan Files, it will scan that. And you can see uh, we have this band called Deep Space Destination, I think it is. Uh, where I found this music is on Free Music Archive, Deep Space Destructors, right there. And so, and so that's on this place to the Free Music Archive where you can download free music. And here you can see as we were doing that, it actually found the album cover for this. So let's just play this, see how it works. So down below here are the different controls for this. So now let's go to movies and we'll do the same thing, scan for our movies. And here you can see it's scanning for those. And so basically I loaded three different things in here. One, this is the headphones video that I made the other day. And so I haven't done this yet. I just wanna see how it works. So first we'll let it finish scanning before we do that. Okay, that takes a few minutes, but it loads all the metadata again for it. So basically I have three different videos here. So the what I found when I was looking at the Raspberry Pi uh, using Plex on the internet is people said that it could play videos. And then when I would look in forums, people were like, no, I can't. So when I looked really closely at the videos, basically the people were playing very low quality videos, uh, uh, 480p. And so I did a little experimentation with this video right here. And so at 1080p, it would not work. I transcoded it to 720p and 480p, and it would actually work at both of those. So let's take a look at that first. And here it opened down in the corner, so we just have to go up and go over to the video, and you can see works fine. Uh, just in scenes where there's more action, uh, there is some breaking of the thing occasionally. But otherwise, okay. Next, uh, this is the first for me. This is a video that I did and it's at 1080p. Let's just so, see what happens. Welcome. And so my own video, which doesn't have a lot of action in it at 1080p, it works. And so now here is another video, which I actually don't know what size it is. I'm hoping it's 1080p, but let's take a look. Yep, and this one works, but I will show you what to do if a video does not work. Okay, so what you're going to do is open Handbrake, which we installed earlier, and then open a file, or you can just drag and drop it there. Great wall here. And so next, once you have a MIDI video loaded, so go to Presets, click on General, click on 1080p at 30, see if we can change that movie so it actually works. The Raspberry Pi is not good at transcoding, so basically the the file has to be in the right format to start out with. And so if we click on that, so basically what we're looking for are these things right here. So we want it to be H264, we want it to be AAC, 
And then we want it to be in the right format here in that we want it 30 frames per second. Once we've done that, then we all we have to do is click transcode and then it starts transcoding. And here you can see that it's going to take approximately 20 minutes to or 21 minutes to actually transcode this. So you just have to take this into account. So if you have movies when you first burn them, make sure you burn them to the right format for the Raspberry Pi and or you need to transcode your movies as you're going along, which can take a lot of time. OK, so that's it for today. And that's how you set up Plex on a Raspberry Pi. So if you found this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and consider uh, supporting us on Patreon, which we have a link below. And until next time, have a great day.